Okay. It is time for Outer Wilds to continue. Resuming our expedition. Last time we left off trying to get into the core underneath the water. So I think that's where we will start I, this time. I, I, I only have like really one more idea on how to do it is the thing. Um, so I guess we'll just immediately give that a try. All right. Nothing new here. Still can't do anything about Hollow's Lantern, I guess. Quantum Moon, Giant's Deep. Yeah, it doesn't even have, like, anything here for me. It's just like, nah, you got it all. And I'm like, that's not true. There's, there's many things I have yet to do. Okay. Turn around. There we go. That looks like the quantum moon's there right now. I am really curious what the Quantum Moon is like for the Ash Twins. Not the Ash Twins, but the Twins in general. Well, the Moon's probably gone now. Oh, no, it's still there. Oh. Okay, that's the big one. Okay, so I'm looking for the one turning counterclockwise over there. Excuse me. Thank you. All right. We're here again. Crappy part is I can't set myself to not have velocity here, so we're going to lose the ship at some point. We will just have to wait for one of these two jellyfish to start heading back down. Okay. This one might be closer. It's kind of hard to tell. See if I can touch this part of it. No. Ah, what do I do? Popper can about get ah shoot. Find Feldspar again. That might be the right way to go about this, actually. Cause I don't know. I, I really do not know. Let's do that.
Okay. I'm also unsure if there's like stuff on the other parts of that. Um, where is Bramble? Bramble, where are you? There you are. Okay, I'll hail Bramble. in the the white hole that's what that looks like yeah oh there's the interloper still don't know anything about that absolutely nothing Okay. Ow. Ow. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Oh. Is that one of the fish? Or is that a bramble? It's kind of hard to tell. Ah, oh, you're right. I forgot about that. I love when you can just feel the switch. Okay. Right, so he's in that. Um, let's quickly do this do entries Feldspar's camp duplicate signal up there There we go. What a weird place this is. I wonder what this place looks like without the, uh, um, without the fog. First, fix our damage. Not really seeing where the damage is, though. Oh, there? No, apparently not. Oh, well. Hey there. Hey, Feldspar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Huh? Let me guess. Anglerfish. Um. Giant's teeth. That was a wild one, but since you're asking, I'll see you haven't made it there yet. Yeah, I've done that. Um, that's bad business, Ashley. As Trip will tell you, if you so much as glance in Dark Battles direction, there used to be a fifth planet. Yep, yeah. the infernal plant appeared and growing until it shattered. Yep. Yeah. We don't get that seed you found sorry real quick timber hearth yeah no there's also one on they're blind <laughs> you have not done that ah uh, no but i did find the thing on where is your ship not far from here if you go straight past the tail this anglerfish skeleton here. Let's see a flickering light in the fog. Follow that, and you'll find my ship. Ah. Uh. Okay, we'll follow his ship. Oh, you're not late. We've only been going for a little while. I started a bit late today. Okay. Oh, his ship looks a little different. That's interesting. Where's the damage? Okay, got that fixed. Oh, too far. Okay. Work with me here, buddy. Are you good to work now? Okay. Where's the prop? Did I just knock his ship away? No. What? Oh, yeah, I did. I totally knocked it away. Whoops. Okay. Maybe this isn't for uh, my ship. Okay. confused okay so I'm now outside of dark bramble
Oh man, I'm almost out of fuel too. Well, it's got to be here. This is the vine that he was in. Or by. Um, Maybe there's the camp duplicate duplicate signal. No, we came back here to try and get more clues from Feldspar. I crashed their ship to find Feldspar's ship. Oh, was I supposed to like go into his ship? It doesn't really look like I can go in his ship is the thing. I don't even see where he would enter. been a while since you did this but you're pretty sure you could keep going after you left the inside I, mean, I can try again um, there it is the thing is I definitely can't leave with my ship
so I, I don't know I guess that's just kind of scary how's the sun doing not great the sun is doing a big old not good Oh. Oh, hello. Trip for entry, I'm going to say not one. Crash is three. Boring crash is zero. A personal best. Whoa, never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. Blurg, this thing tastes terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Right. I'm going inside of this jellyfish's interior cavity to see if that if it if to see if what's in there tastes any better. What? Note to Felswar, do not eat this even if you're dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these jellyf jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love Feldspar. Okay. So I got to somehow get inside of the jellyfish. How's Sun doing? Ooh, Brittle Hollow's doing real bad. Oh no, it didn't look... Okay, no. It's doing okay. Okay, so I gotta get inside the jellyfish. Just gotta get eaten. That doesn't sound at all dangerous. Ah, uh, well, there's the music. Uh, we don't have much time, so I'm going to skip getting into my ship. Let's see if I can get right to Feldspar. Found something. Ha, ah, so the old thing's still there, is it? That's where I first camped out after the crash, you know. It was pretty cozy inside. It does lack the structural integrity and indomitable spirit of a camp made in the shelter of the very bones of the species that tried to eat you, I suppose. Still very cozy. Um. Hi, Tarok. Yeah, the game is insane. I wonder how you see the end of life here. I wonder where it comes from. Can it even reach this? <clears throat> Judging by the sound, I'm going to say yes, I can. <laughs> All right, so I'll try to get eaten by a jellyfish. Though I'm not entirely sure how. I guess we'll find out. I guess I would just kind of like... Slide up underneath it, I guess. 
I don't know. Frozen jellyfish. Gear options. Ow. Get bonked. What would you call it? Is it not being eaten? Of note, with that in mind, could one be eaten by a anglerfish and be okay? Okay, which for the one that's spinning the other way. Clockwise, 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 that's clockwise, there it is. Break right through. It slows me down so much. Ah, you spun away from me. Okay. Here we go. Man, this is so weird. Even if you missed its teeth, the stomach acid would still kill you. Probably. How do I know when I'm through? Probably like that. That looks like a big eye. It's really creepy how they did that. Okay, well, we are here now. Um, other side, yeah, let's do that. Let's do this first. What do we got? Oh. Here's one of the Nomai. I wonder who this one's tied to. The only one I can think of is Feldspar, but he doesn't really mention it. Ash Twin. One, two, three. Yeah. Pretty sure I've read this one already. Yes, I have. Ashton almost prepared to receive the probe data. I'm pretty sure I've read this. Um, drop that. Drop. Who might be the question for that? Who might be the wrong question for that statue? Would the answer be what? Um, 
This is just outside. Yeah, we've been there. Launch module. Well, it'd have to be someone that was here. Imagine private the pro tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates. Yeah, we've read that one as well. Okay. Ow. I guess it could have been a jellyfish. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, there it goes. <clears throat> oh, wait, gotta remember to read these. How are we doing? Just lots of time left. Receiving data from probe 9,380,091. Visualizing current trajectory of probe 9,380,091. 9, Seems like a problem. Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched 9,380,091. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe found by a probe 9,380,054. They sent out 9 million probes, over 9 million probes, like all at once. Uh, okay, retrieving stored core. That's weird that that pauses time. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. Sure. But I thought they'd never launched. I thought what we saw was it launching. So that's the launch data. Can I get out of the core? That's a good question. The only way out would be how I got in, right? My ship feels a little far away. Like maybe it got sent away somewhere. Come back to me, my jelly jellyfish. Come back to me, my jelly jellyfish. Please hurry, jellyfish. 
Ah, uh, we've been going for about 40 minutes. A bit of a late start was eating. Okay, it's coming. It's coming through. You break on through to the other side. Ah, no. Let me up to my jellyfish. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Yeah, we came here. I couldn't figure out what to do. We went back to Feldspar. Now we're back here again. Could you let me out now? Ow. Okay, where's the ship? Yeah, that's all we did in Dark Bramble so far. I don't know what else to do there. Um, I feel like my ship is about to go bye-bye. Just a feeling. You know, when you just get one of those feelings. Yeah. Oh. Please come back. Okay. We are safe. Well, I mean, relatively speaking. Okay, probe tracking module. The orbital probe cannon has launched millions of probes. The 9,318,054th probe located a deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe. The probe tracking module automatically records each probe's trajectory and transmits the data to the Ash Twin project. I found no my coordinates marking the location of the eye of the universe. Okay, cool. Um, that's new and done. So as far as I'm aware, we are now done on Giant's Deep. We still have stuff to do here. High Energy Lab, that. The Sunless City still has more. Uh, I can't remember what we still need to do there. We still need to get those. Haven't done anything with the Interloper, still don't know what that's about. Still got to find Vessel and the escape pod here. Frozen Jellyfish found that. So I guess I could technically like try looking for the Vessel and escape pod in Dark Bramble. Um, how's the sun? Sun could be better. 
could be better. Uh, let's see. What do I have time for? What do I have time for? I guess I have time to go die to an anglerfish. Oh, there's a quantum moon. Ooh, I'm kind of curious what the quantum moon looks like on a uh, hollow night. I forgot to take a picture. I read that just as it happened. <laughs> Where'd it go to? We're gonna do a big rotate. You had a vision of the future? Unfortunately, like many future visions, you were unable to stop it. <laughs> it's weird that I don't see it, though. That's Timber Hearth. There's the interloper going on its final final trip. Oh, there it was. Okay, it's gone there. There we go. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge on the, uh... Ow. On here, yeah. On Hollow Knight, yeah. We did that. Okay, this time I don't accidentally jump over things. It's weird that the ship wasn't there. Oh, wait, I guess... Ah, oh, why'd I do that? Thank you. Thank you, game, for reminding me. Okay, well... My guess would be... So, I've done that. Rule of Quantum Imaging. Rule of Six Location. I don't know the Rule of Six Location. Oh, no, wait, that's... Yeah, I do know the Rule of Six Location. Okay. This one I don't. The Quantum Entanglement. Wait. Maybe I do. We want Darkness. Timber Hearth. What? No. We're on Hollow Brittle again. 
Yes! Ah, oh, god damn it. I'm here. I'm on. The, I'm at the fucking star. I'm at the center of the universe. Ah! It's probably the frickin' interloper. Because, so things change when you're not looking at them. Through darkness you can transport between the different locations it can be. And the sixth location, I can't quite remember what it is about the sixth location, it's just unknown. But I managed to get there. I'm now in the center of the universe. The eye of the universe, I mean. Um, this is kind of annoying though. <laughs> Uh, I did read the stuff there. If this is the one that's hanging over Brittle Hollow, uh, I did read the stuff there. I probably just can't remember it. Like, I've done all of these now. For sure. Can I close the door on that? <laughs> ah, shoot. On Timber Hearth again. Oh, no way. Brittle Hollow. We're at the sixth location again, and now the universe is blowing up. This is a little unfortunate. Oh man, Empty, I have read so many things. When we get back to the ship, I'll go through my logs and see what I can find. Oh, well.
At least I figured that out now. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe it's not the interloper, because I don't think the moon can orbit the interloper. Okay, get in the logs. Uh, rumor mode. Uh, know my mines. Twin project, lab, station, sun station, sunless city. Old settlement, skate pod, vessel, hanging city. We want the purple stuff. There we go. Okay. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. The pilgrimage to the quantum moon was a deeply signature journey for the Nomai. Uh, after the two groups of the Nomai stranded on Ember Twin and Berta Hollow, where Rhea and I became the United Goal to find and visit the Quantum Moon. No way shrine that wanders about the Quantum Moon. You have recalled the rule of quantum engineering inscribed on the mural. Yep, yep. Sixth location. Okay. So, the rule of quantum imaging, the rule of quantum entanglement is it'll change locations when you're not looking. If you have your eyes closed or you're in complete darkness you can shift locations and the rule of six location is that it must be on the north pole how do i Shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. How do I shift that? Just by keep trying every time it goes back to the sixth location, I just try the door again. And eventually I might be on the north pole. I guess by that logic, I could actually instead just keep opening and closing the door until I get there. Because as soon as I'm no longer observing it, I would be shifted to a new spot. Ah, uh, we still need... I still need to do the sun station. Um, there's still more at the sunless city. Uh, there's the Ash Twin Project. This is on its own thing for some reason. I still have more to do at Dark Bramble. Um, so what do you guys want? Do we want to go back to the Quantum Moon? Do we want to try the Sunless City? Or do we want to do more at Dark Bramble? I'm fine with really going in any direction. Um, it feels like our options are slowly becoming limited. We want to stay in here so time doesn't move. I believe that's an option I have set on. All hail Bramble. Freeze time while translator and ship log. Okay. All hail Bramble. Okay, Bramble, where are ye? Where are ye? There's the twins. There it is. There's the sun station. 
so yes, yeah, so we have Bramble, Sun Station, the Hourglass Twins. That's basically all that's left. I am not falling for this again. No. So, in Dark Bramble, we have the Vessel and Escape Pod 3, the two things that did not escape um, the Bramble as that I guess it encompassed things. Considering that the Bramble must be some sort of... Yeah, like we have... Whoops, no. Wait. What the? There we go. We want Distress Beacon. Considering it's very annoying, though, is the thing. <laughs> Sounds like it's that one. I'm considering this is a living thing. It must have some sort of reproductive cycle that then leads to shooting out the um the seeds. So it'd be interesting to know what that is and how that why the anglerfish are here. That's a no mice point though. Annoy people into coming to rescue just to see. Get the signal to shut up. Yeah, exactly. Ow. Is this the shuttle? These have lights on them, which is interesting. Oh, there we go. There it is. Okay. Unidentified signal nearby. I don't feel like it's totally unidentified. Oh man, escape pod three, who would have thought? Okay. Seca, our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We've held out as long as we could here. But this pod supply of breathable air is nearly depleted and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance at survival is to return to the vessel, either repair the damage or more probably await rescue. Seca, is this message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It'll be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here quickly. There, 
There is a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But it is impossible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical to each other. Perhaps if I had more time. We're nearly out of time already. Din, the vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it will be gone and we, and we will be lost. Excuse me. We will follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. But suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't know, have enough air to reach the farther of the two beacons, Din. The decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. Okay, so they're, they've left a trail. Uh, let's turn around. Okay. Escape pod 3. Vessel has been mortally injured. Yeah, they've all been mortally injured. Now launching escape pod 3. Multiple collisions have altered pod's trajectory. Significant damage to pod detected. Navigation error. Life support error. Propulsion error. I can't get the last one. There we go. Scan. Scan complete. S S gravity not detected. Breathable air not detected. Multiple life forms detected. Potentially hostile. Verdict do not exit pod. Well, about that. This is the emergency hatch. I wonder what's that way. Well, I guess we have to follow the lights um let's see just do this quick boo, boo, boo. escape pod three survivors well Mm. Survivors is probably probably hopeful thinking. Okay. So you left the trail via the lights. That's pretty smart, actually. They're basically like breadcrumbing us. Ah, except for that. That's kind of a problem. Yeah, hi everybody. You guys went the wrong way. It seems. Um, nope. It's not quite where I wanted that to go. There we go. Okay. Let's go to the duplicate signal. Ow. Ow. Hey, Rose. How are you tonight? Oh, that's just unfortunate. Hold up. No, read the message. There's a message there. Oh, there is. Okay, well, I can't. Oh, I can velocity match. Okay. I didn't see that. This morning, you're good. that makes it sound like you were not good at other times. To any who came here searching for us, we followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but now we can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seat. Yet the opening is too small for even a single nomai. Uh, to fit through it, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through there. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel and still so far is difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon we will be unable to hear it. 
There is nothing we can do now but try to perhaps find a way inside, or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. Oh. Ah. Oh, good. I'm glad that's what that's called. The vessel. Okay, well... My main concern is the vessel being inside of the anglerfish, maybe? I'm glad you've been good. If this is an anglerfish... Oh, it's not. I thought the red light was the anglerfish. Oh, interesting. Well, that happened. Huh. Oh boy. Aw, oh, jeez. That was barely a reaction. <laughs> well, I guess I have to start there because I can't do that. So we got to go back to the escape pod three. They can't see, they're blind. Sorry, I, it, that's just how I am. It, it's not, I, I don't find it scary. I knew the anglerfish was there. Um, so it's just kind of like, oh, okay. I am unfortunately not the kind of person that gets like super scared in games or anything. Mark the survivalists. I can mark the survivalists on the HUD. Hmm. I guess technically that's what that is. <laughs> I mean, the first time we came here, I accidentally saw, like, the teeth of the anglerfish. Um, well, not accidentally. It's just right before I got through the hole to go to Feldspar, um, the fish kind of popped out, popped in, and I've been seeing them this whole time. It, it's more scary because it's like, oh, I gotta die. I, I'm gonna die and have to do it again. Um, but even that's just kind of like, eh, not a big deal. The grave might be markable in rumor mode. It might be. Uh, let's try. Rumor mode. Uh, <laughs> 
Where was that? That was down here, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the grave. The grave is markable. Yeah, rumor mode is superior. It's just hard for me to keep track of what was where through that. Okay. Nope. Missed. Missed again. Missed again. Missed again. There we go. Yeah, there's the vessel. Okay. Pausing, because I got to think about this. The, the anglerfish are blind. So it doesn't matter if I have my light on. It might be best just to try to force my way past them then. Is that the solution? Can't really think of anything else. Try to be quiet. I mean, the first one kind of just saw me and that was that. Yeah, I'm playing on PC. Playing on PC with a gamepad. <gasps> so here's the real question. I know that the escape pod is in the red light. Can I just first head to the red light instead of going through the uh oh. to like the escape pod first and stuff? Yeah, that's probably why. It 
It's just like, man, it, it, it is the slightest nudge. The slightest nudge. Also, I, I just realized that the reason we're seeing a bunch of lights at all is because those are technically the anglerfish lights that you're seeing through uh, the different like time warp space warps. The dark bramble is a set layout. I don't know if that means yes or no. Like that light we're seeing is all of the anglerfish lights. Well, I guess we'll just go to this one first. Because, like, as soon as I hit either up or down, I am basically done. I want the keyboard. You see the little levels. Yeah, like, I can't, like... The, the triggers are the up and down, like those, that's just, that's just pushing the control, like the triggers. So like there's no way for me to course correct up or down, I have to rotate and like tap these. I think I might have gone into the wrong space maybe. Uh, let's see. I guess I can velocity match no matter where I am. I am using the only controller I can, which is the Nintendo Pro Controller. It didn't even set itself. Well, looks like I messed up. Yeah, the triggers aren't triggers per se. Well, let's just fly in. We'll just die. I don't care. One of these is likely an anglerfish, so that'll be good. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Thank you. practice it.
Nah, it's still pretty locked on me. Possibly once they get a lock on you, it's that's it. Yeah, the triggers in the case of the Nintendo Pro Controller are just buttons. Which has been fine so far. But could prove troublesome for this section it seems. And I could attempt to try to connect my PS4 controller, but it is so janky. Uh, it's not frustrating me yet. So just to give you an idea, I managed this on mouse and keep- you did! It just takes a while. Hey, the sun station. Uh, if you were able to manage this on mouse and keyboard, I probably can manage it on this. The thing I just have to do is never hit the triggers and just try to nudge myself with the sticks. How viable that'll be, I don't know. Oh yeah, it does switch. Interesting. Because, like, I can do this. And rotate. That might have been too much. Just kind of trying to practice doing this. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with this controller. Guess we'll find out. One thing is I definitely don't want to be going fast into that, that's for sure. Come on. Ah. 
Ah, oh, come on. That was like right there. There we go. Going fast isn't a problem. Well, I mean, because I got a course correct. I imagine even if they're blind, um, they're pro they'd probably notice if I run into them. I am still curious if I could just go to the red light on the first part. Weird gravity is kind of a problem. barely pushed that. I barely pushed that. See, like, if I just drift, I, it felt like I was going to run into it, which I feel like is bad. I feel like running into it is bad. I'm fairly certain I was like on my way to um I was on my way to running into it but I can try I'll just let myself I'll just get in there and I'll just let myself go I just won't touch anything we'll see what happens So we'll get into that spot and then I'll just let myself float, 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 float. Oh, my shirt's on inside out. That's fun. So empty, have you been playing any games lately? I know you and Fury did the movie night, or movie day. Sorry I couldn't make it to that. I must be entering this from a different side or something. This would be one of those games I would love a uh, boundary break to do. Nothing specific lately. Ah yes, enjoy shoveling the snow. I did that yesterday, twice. Oh, nice. 
Well, then he can hear me be like, ah, why, how, what? Like, I'm fairly certain right now I could just go to the red dot. But, you know what? Maybe this works a little bit on quantum mechanics where you need to see the thing to know where it is. Ow. Ha, oh, I got it first try that time. The vessel looks pretty big. I really do wonder what the, uh, um, anglerfish eat, because it doesn't really seem like there's things here for them to eat. Okay. I'm just going to take myself out of the cockpit so I can't move. So I can't, I can't be in control of this, so it's not me. We'll see what happens. Uh, well, that's weird. They sustain all the tears of players who try to get through Dark Bramble. That's probably very true. Kilometer is a long ways away. Oh, is the red light the vessel? No, the red light is definitely something else. They look like seeds. Is what I'm guessing they are. So the white lights are. Oh, those are anglerfish eggs. But they start out tiny. Because we saw a tiny anglerfish in the museum. Oh, it's inside another one. Oh, 
All right. The vessel is so special, Almighty Bramble decided it needed a seed all to itself. Oh, so they're chosen. That's good for them. Good for them. They were chosen. Ah, this is a little, little difficult to do while floating in zero G's. I may have missed a section. That's okay. Oh. Oh my god. Ah. Oh no, that's what this is. Okay. Uh, we are going to quickly explore other parts. Ow. Never mind, you can't explore other parts. Uh, let me go back to my ship and draw it. Also get some more fuel. Okay. The vessel. What? There's more to explore here? Weird. Ah, uh, rumor mode. No, rumor mode. Ah. Uh, there. Okay. Callie has used all of my paper, basically. So it goes like that. Then like that, then like that, okay. I would love for there to be gravity here. That would be something I absolutely really enjoy. There might be more stuff up top. There is. This is Eskel's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines. Oops. There are vines now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside. 
We, we are abandoning our vessel. Any know my clans or space flight capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need our help. We need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Trying to know my clans whose vessels can hear this message. It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now. So my clan and I believe the best option is for all our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we found that black rock suns are fairly stable and life in the solar system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you will be on your own. Kana, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromai. We'll, we'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived. And uh, he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell. The disappearance of Eskel. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day Eskel's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clans searched and searched but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskel's clans existed and their story is real. What a curious event to have passed in a myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hysop? It was a very long time ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors searched for Eskel's clan for a long time, but in the end, none of them were ever seen again, and it's the only time in our history of Eskel has ever disappeared this way. Hysop, I hope you aren't comparing Eskel's story to my clan's vessel. Oops. Nee, my friend, we feared you were gone. Not yet we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the bright spark star system exploded, and it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kana. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear from hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. So yeah, all the stars are kind of dying, is the problem. Um... Okay, uh, is, ah, no. Okay, so this is the last one. No, <laughs> I don't want to have to come here again. Here's my plan. Here's my plan. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's clear. Get rid of that. No. Start elsewhere. Start there. Go there. 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 Okay. Flip over this way. This one goes there, there, there. This one goes there, I believe.
No, I'm losing track of myself. I feel like I might need to like nudge that in. Okay. Warp core is in place. Pretty sure those are correct. Let's go get more fuel. Ow. Take a better look at the warp core, okay. It's probably broken or something. What do I do with this? I put it in here. No. Yeah, it's just broken. Could I... No. Um... I don't see another one is the problem. Must be a reason to do that. And I can't let go of it. Well, the fact that the coordinate thing didn't come back up leads me to believe that it's correct. Is there another place in the vessel I can go? Door is closed. Door is closed. That door is closed. I wouldn't really be surprised if there isn't. The game's pretty good at making things like pretty obvious on where you need to be usually.
downstairs of the front part. Well, This is all closed off. There isn't anything below. Oh, there we go. What's in here? Excuse me. I'm recording now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. This is our first contact with anything of this nature. Excuse me, game. While I'm reading, know my text. You're supposed to be paused? Time is supposed to be paused? Hi, giant. <laughs> I gotta get all the way back there. Give me one second. Uh, I gotta turn down the heat a little. He's gonna go, <gasps> and then we're gonna pause. We'll be right back. Came back. Let's see. I should be able to just set my coordinates to the vessel now. Which, which will save us a little bit of time. A little. Not a ton. But a little. Um, map mode. It says there's nothing more to explore there, though, which is interesting. Um, I'm not sure why it would say there's nothing else there. Because if I'm done everything in uh, Dark Bramble, then that really just leaves the twins. Because I haven't really found anything about the interloper. Oh, thank you, Winzip. No, I'm good. Um, you kind of popped up over my game, though. That's a little annoying.
Ha, I thought so. I can just go straight to the red. Only problem would be is if there's a uh, uh, you know anglerfish between me and it. Like possibly that one above. Yeah, that's what I thought. Shoot. That sucks. Barely. Barely touched it. Boy, imagine how inconvenient this would be for someone who's like not in a time loop. Yeah, the breathing's pretty creepy. I do slightly jump when I alert it and it makes the sound. Um, just because can't really do anything about not being startled by jump scares. I really do wonder what the uh, planet used to look like before Dark Bramble kind of destroyed it and everything. Yeah, like it kind of looks like an ice planet of some kind. Oh, hey, Quantum Moon. Fancy meeting you here. Like that would explain the jellyfish frozen in ice and stuff. Ow. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to set ourselves really quick and then just let go. Now I can't accidentally push myself too far. Oh, is that what's floating around? That makes sense. So there's one anglerfish here. And it seems like there's three within the core near the eggs, probably. Still pretty curious about the quote-unquote life cycle of the bramble. Be nice to be able to actually see elsewhere. Too hard. 
Uh, I thought I was further than that. Well, that's how this game works, right? You die and die and die until you eventually get it. Wee, wee, ow, bonk my head. Rumor mode, vessel. I'm really curious on like what are the things you need to complete the game like if you know how to get to an ending you could probably just get to it though I don't know what the endings are I guess technically if if the goal is to get yourself to the credits you can quickly die it's very easy to do we have discovered that No, like if there's Easter egg endings, like if it's considered an ending, it's considered an ending. It doesn't matter how difficult or not difficult it is to get intentionally. Like, my guess would be trying to get to the sixth location, so figuring out how to do that quantum moon uh, thing. Or maybe it has to do with the Ash Twin project. Like, I don't really know what our quote-unquote end goal is. My initial guess would be we'd want to, you know, stop the sun from exploding. But I don't really know if we can. Man, I, I still would love to see this place without the fog effect. I would love to know what it is. No idea. Yeah, that's an anglerfish right there. So we're still pretty close to the anglerfish.
Larisol's getting a bit closer to the egg sacks. I feel like we've made progress, but not really in a way today. Like, I guess if I go this thing, the only thing that's left is Sun Station, Ashwin Project, and Sunless City. So, I mean, hey, that's something. Oh, plus, oh, that's six location. Like at this point, I've pretty uh, much figured out what happened to the Nomai. Except for the whole, you know, like it's been hundreds of thousands of years since they've died. I don't even know if I'd be able to get out of here. Like, Feldspar seems more or less just inclined to have accepted his fate. Yeah, that alerted him. Like, I was so far from them unless there's more in that area that I don't know about. It kind of almost seems like maybe the Bramble initially came with the Nomai. I can get closer. Let's see. There was text down below that I was kind of looking at. I'm recording, Felix, I'm recording now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. This is our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone, prepare to warp immediately. Eskel, wait. I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell another clan where we're going? We can send the message upon our arrival. This is extraordinary. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly. We can't lose a discovery this incredible. Focus on preparing for the warp instead. I understand. Anona, is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate coordinates? The warp core is power, but this will be a significant jump. Afterward, we will need time to recharge the core. That shouldn't create, create a problem, provided we arrive at or near the signal source. Everyone will rate it a jump. So this was the light source they were going off of. I was interested in how that worked. Okay, so there's no way for me to warp from here, but it feels like there's something I should be doing. Like, the fact that I can pick this up. Where should I take it? Oh, 
All right. Yeah, you think I need to check out Ember Twin? That makes sense. It doesn't seem like there's really anything else I can do here. It's just so weird. Ah, thanks for stopping in, Treat. I guess I go to the Sunless City. That's all I really have left. There goes the probe. So wherever it's going, it's finding it. I wonder if you could follow it. That's where I want to go, but I actually technically want to go to the gravity cannon. This side, I believe. Yeah, right there. Um, now we take off. Take off gravity cannon and instead go there. Okay, what do we need to do here still? Getting a little stuck. Did that. Did that. There we go. Uh, this eye shrine. I guess we haven't done that technically. Right, now I remember why we didn't do this before. I got myself turned around in here. So I want to go to where the electricity is coming from, not where the electricity is going. And I have to wait for that sand so I can go over that.
Well, how is everybody today? Have a good weekend? Any plans this week? It's almost the new year, which is pretty exciting. I like how the sand texture seems to share the same quality as the water texture. Whoop. Whoop. That's a repeating texture right there. After this, just like running, you should be fine. I mean, yeah, the problem was I got turned around last time, but now I'm paying attention and know we're going uh, to where the energy is coming from, not where the energy is going. You did have a good weekend? That's good. I'm pretty excited because I, I only have two more followers for my goal for this year. Um, I'm not going to be streaming tonight like I normally do. Just because uh, this is my last week of vacation and I want to play more Nancy Drew with uh, one of my friends over Discord. We watched the Nancy Drew movie last night and now we're playing, we are playing one of the games. I do love me some puzzles. Follow that. Okay. Come on, there we go. Follow where the electricity is coming from. Ah, shit. There we go. All you're doing is playing Skyrim. I've tried to play Skyrim multiple times, but I just can't seem to like keep myself into it. Oh, well that's got ghost matter, so that's fun. Alright. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. These are different warp cores. Black and white warp cores. Scroll. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Raminar devised an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or simple machine error. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the White Hole at its destination. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the White Hole Station. Hypothesis it is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. I mean, that's just because of, like, how time is distorted by, uh... Time is distorted around the space. An update. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. To that end, we decide to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should provide prove sufficient. Of note, Rami, Yaro requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Rami and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. I saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. 
This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. So they proved it. Oh man, if only I knew what some of these symbols meant. Before reading that. Oh, this is the exit out. Yep. I can replicate their experiment. Oh, interesting. I, yeah, that makes sense. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute inter. Oh. 22 minute interval is possible. That is, that something arrived 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Rami and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We'd also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash Twin. The energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas pie. My pun was unintended, Rami, so I believe it's you who's air form. They're too smart for me to understand. I feel ya. The Ash Twin Project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. Currently, as in electrical current. What if we use warp towers like the one we have on the Whitehall Station to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical location? Of note, each tower in Ashton will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who noted my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The giant steep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone, and we can model the timber harvest after a geyser mountain. Poke, Root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. Okay, so geyser. That's a geyser. The second one was the cyclone, not a geyser. Yeah, that's what I meant, geyser. Cyclone, that's the geyser, that's the twins. These two, I'm not entirely sure. That could be Hollow Knight, and that would be what was Dark Bramble. Oh, the sun, duh. Yeah, it comes out before it goes in. Sure, I would like an Easter egg ending. That'd be a fun thing to end on.
remove the white core right after launching the scout. I didn't do it fast enough. <laughs> you destroyed the fabric of space time. Congratulations. Is this gonna get DMCA'd? <laughs> we did it. That was inc that's an incredible yeah because because you have something come out before it goes in you f technically technically time is warping there, but it still knows like because of the force of the black hole there's no way to break away from that. And even if you did, you would then be pulling the thing out from the white core. Uh, so, like, only by uh, forcing the white core away do you break that causality. You've destroyed space-time. I am really curious if he could technically follow the probe if you're fast enough. High Energy Lab, Ash Twin Towers. Okay, though. So that's. It is possible? Okay. Um, map mode. There's still more in the Sunless City? What haven't I done there? Interesting. I guess I haven't gone to the Eye Shrine. I don't think I've gone to the Eye Shrine in there. This is done. Okay, so no, the bramble kind of grabbed it. Uh, everything there is done. That's done. No discoveries about the interloper yet. So I have the sun station. So I have the sun station as well as more on the sunless city. And then the sixth location. Yeah, I've tried to go to Hollow Knight's moon. It didn't it didn't work. It it went bad. I don't know if there's more you can do about it. Um like it's on here, so I feel like you should be able to. Uh, I guess I could try throwing a probe in it. Don't think in per se, I suppose, yeah, try on. <laughs> like I oh excuse me hello
Get out of there before that's gone. You actually caught a glimpse of this the other time you tried to explore the lantern, but you were focused on something else. Yeah, I would say I was kind of a little focused on uh, trying to go right inside. Let's see. This is the mine. We've been here. Friends of the Timber Mines, the last type of ore you sent us survives the longest in direct heat. Can you send us more of the same for additional testing? We're attempting to improve its durability, and our forge has already burned through everything you sent. We'll deliver more ore to Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be fired up about crafting the Ashtwood Project's protective shell. We knew that. My gratitude. I imagine we'll also have an updated estimate soon of how much ore is needed to seal off the Ashtwood Project. Will it be more than we initially thought? It will be significantly more. The smallest cracker opening the predictive shell would destroy everything. Yes, the idea of an encasement that's supernova proof. Supernova proof? However briefly has kindled my curiosity. Okay. So, I mean, our ship is gone. Um, so the inside of that might be supernova proof. I'm waiting for this to shoot out again. Oh no, our ship is fine. Uh, maybe not. Uh, hmm. I feel like maybe it's gone. <laughs> yeah. The ship signal is fine, but the ship is probably inside of there. So, you know, fine in the relative sense, not fine in the unrelative sense. Okay, the question is still how to get inside. The problem with that probe is I lose track of it the moment, like, there it goes. Yeah, I lose track of it pretty quickly. Volcanic testing site. Hey, we did it. Still don't know about the interloper. Where you be? Where interloper be? Where you be at? On the other side of the sun. Of course you are. There you are. So I've read all the information I need in order to do it. That's good to know.
Well, okay, so here's the thing about the interloper. It looks like it's made out of, oh, ice. It kind of looks like what I assume the other planet was made out of. So I wonder if as it gets closer to the moon, or to the sun, if it melts. Oh, there's something. There's the, uh, there's the gravity cannon thing. The ship. But which gravity cannon thing? Uh, my guess would be the one from the Ash, or from Ember. This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle will freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity tra- yeah, on Ember Twin. Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have launched- landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think. Clary, if you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. Ship log updated. Hey, Frozen Nomai Shuttle. There's more to do here. Of course there is. So I wonder if I were to call it back on the to the gravity cannon, if um, if that would be enough to uh, get inside and get more information, or if it is better to like actively do this. Yeah, because that doesn't touch it. Like, that looks like it did a bit, but it's not gonna... The dark side is not gonna get there. Um, let's do this quick. I've got, like, minutes before I have to end. So, like, I better... I gotta hurry. You're right, Gravity Cannon does seem doable in minutes, considering I've been there many times. It's just a matter of figuring out which side of this thing it's on. There it is. Nope, that's that. There it is. That's funny, because I accidentally launched it into the sun before. Hey, excuse me. It was cold. Yeah, it's true. It was cold. That might have actually helped it. See, I thought for some reason it was going to be the same one. Oh, that would have told me otherwise. Ow. Gravity here is a little wonky. Oh, it's still froze. Oh. No my spacesuit. I fear our situation may be dire. Pi, Poke, and I landed here on this comet long after its arrival in the star system. I show his equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. 
Pie and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Poke Pi, come back to me safely, my friends. Oh. I now understand how that works. <laughs> I get it now. I understand. Might just be able to catch where that probe goes. There it is. Yeah, center is just like neutral, isn't it? Yeah, I found the probe. Doesn't really look like there's anything on it. But that's interesting that it's here. Am I flying away from the system? I am. If I follow it, will I eventually, like, get to the sixth location? No. That's unfortunate. That'd be fun. Okay, well, there's a little bit more to do there. I think what I want to do... I think what my goal is, and I'm doing, I'm going to say this while I'm like finishing up here. I think what my goal is, is I go to Ember Twin, call the cannon to there, head over to the interloper, and go down into whatever is now opened from the, uh, from the thing being gone. That's what I assume I would do. Oh, that goes to a different place every time? Yeah, that explains why it doesn't seem like it's going to the same area. Reread the logs on the Nomai shuttle? I found a Nomai shuttle almost completely encased in ice. The Nomai landed not long after its arrival. The shuttle's equipment heard strange engineers come from somewhere beneath the surface. There were three Nomai aboard the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm, while the other two explored the interloper. Oh, I guess maybe there is just a way to get down there then. 
If I uh, do that, do I see? Oh. <laughs> you mean the log on the shuttle itself? Well, it's that way, but it's way too far. We have followed the cannon beautifully. I don't understand, though. Okay. What I don't understand is, did after the Nomai died, did the sh did the cannon just keep firing out pl uh, probes over the last like hundreds of thousands of years till they found the sixth location? And this is just whatever numbered one it is, and this time it just died. I should find the sun station. You are correct. There are many things. There are, there are a few things I still need to do. So, tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Bright and early. Goals. Sun station. Interloper. Well, I think, okay, tomorrow. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Interloper, A. B, Sun Station. C, Sunless City. And then maybe end of the game? I'm going to say either tomorrow or the next day we'll be finishing the game. So, yeah.